Faithful and Jack Malone. 10 o'clock and a bottle of Cabernet, like clockwork. Cut it, Sam. I'm working here. Yeah, sure you are. You're working your way through that bottle. That's fancy French stuff. That costs a pretty penny. You're not holding that on me, are you? I'm not holding out. You know I pull a bigger cut, so stop busting my hump. There's something going down. Mm-hmm. Ladies, lovers, and lushes, looks like you're all enjoying the hospitality of our little club. Now remember, don't tell anyone about our secret. Ain't no booze here, just good, clean fun. That's right. <laughs> Fucking amazing, the stones on this guy. Oh, come on. Not even the probies give a cobbler's crap about prohibition anymore. It's going to be repealed any day now. Shut up. And now. For all you good God-fearing people out there, I have the true queen of the night, Alexandra Diamond. I can say you're what I want. Only you bring me to swoon eternally love. Whoa. Now I know why you're late. Good God, I mean, look at that. <laughs> that is a vision. Good God in heaven, Lord have mercy on us all. This, I mean, <laughs> Jesus. Look at this, just look at her skin. I mean, it's like it's porcelain, you know? Like she must just bathe in milk like all day long. She must just sit in the bathtub full of milk all day long and eat nothing but like lemon rinds and raisin skins and Lord knows what else. Jesus. I mean, I mean, you, you, you know what I'm saying, Jack? I can say, I can say. Hey, sweetheart. Back of luckies. Oh, sure, mister. Say, honey, I want to open up a tab. Can I talk to the boss? Is he here? Oh, yeah, he's always here. Well, great. Where? He just walked out. Walked out where? The front door? Or that back room over there? Hey, you you ask a lot of questions. Are you a cop? Oh, yeah. Sergeant Jack Malone. This here's my partner, Sam Varney. We're Southampton's finest, ma'am. We live but to protect and serve. Traffic tickets, cats in trees, pretty ladies in need of rescue from their virginity. Oh, you're full of shit, silly. <laughs> Keep the change, little lady. I'll look into opening that tab another night. Come on, Sam. Let's go do some police work. You had Chinese in your town. I haven't had Chinese in a while. I may have to come visit. Chester, darling, that's quite enough. I'm sure Mr. Baker here is convinced of our resolve. After all, Mr. Baker, you only have nine more fingers. <laughs> Why did you want to be a cop? Because I'm handy with a gun and I needed a job. Come on, Jack, seriously. Sam, we've had to brace just about everybody in our room. I'm not in the mood. See, that's kind of what I'm talking about. We do our thing behind closed doors, but, you know, word gets around. Well, that's a good thing, no? 
Everybody in town knows the score and where it does travel. Not just here, but Philly, New York. Everybody knows we handle our own business and we're not up for grabs. And how long do you think it's going to take for someone to figure out that there's just a handful of us against all the rum runners and racketeers? Oh, believe me, Sam, I would love for somebody to try a move like that. That's just what I'm afraid of. I find this lack of respect quite disconcerting. To even think you can find what we offer someplace else. <laughs> I told you everything I know. I swear. You believe me, don't you? Please tell me you believe me. Believe you? Believe? Believe? I believe you're a lying, blood-sucking double-crosser who's so <laughs> fucking greedy that you ruin everything we built just to make a few extra bucks. <laughs> What did you do that for? He was out of fingers. Well, you just killed any chances we had at salvaging our relationship with his boss. Victor, I'm tired of dealing with these nickel and dime speakeasies. The only reason we came to this town was so we could move up to New York City. Now, I've been around long enough to know when it's time to sever old ties. And that cop was sniffing around again tonight. I don't want to draw any more attention than we're already getting. Don't worry about him. If he sticks his nose where it doesn't belong, I'll add it to my collection. been waiting long? Not long, half hour or so. Half hour? You should have come inside. I would have cut out early. I'm here, ain't I? Yes, you are. Come on, I want to show you something. Oh, Willie. <laughs> I made it myself from a stone I found in the creek. It's not much, but I thought it was pretty. You don't have to wear it if you don't want to. No, no. I love it. Put it on. You know, with this new job here, I'm starting to make some good money. Before you know it, I'll be able to buy you real jewelry. But this is real jewelry. It, it's wonderful. I love it. And I love you. Rich or poor. Oh, Anna, you know that ain't gonna fly with your mama. I swear, I'm gonna marry you someday. And build you a ritzy house with a car in the driveway <laughs> and a nursery for the kitties. Children. <laughs> Slow down there, jitterbug. <laughs> How about a waltz? That's not a waltz. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about this? That'll do. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here either. <laughs> <laughs> New meat. I think he could be a high roller. Gotta be careful with these rich fellas. They're into all kinds of crazy. <laughs> yeah, crazy rich. You're such a whore, Rosie. <laughs> the best in town. It's a small town. Just go inside. Ugh, fuck off. Aw, I love you too, Miss Lily Margaret Moon. <laughs> Welcome to Rosie's Thorns. Well, thank you. Would you happen to be Rosie? Yes, I am. This is my little paradise, where the girls are pretty and the sheets are clean. Haven't seen you before. Are you new in town or just passing through? Oh, a little of both. Oh. May I come in? Of course. 
be my guest. Handsome. All guests get their first drink free. My apologies, miss. I don't drink spirits. Do you have some wine, perhaps? Pussy and whiskey's all we've got. If you're looking for a glass of wine, you best get yourself to church. I don't do well in church. <laughs> don't mind her. We got a half bottle back in the pantry. Is that all right with you, Miss Rosie? Why, yes, Miss Lily. You go on ahead, and I'll introduce the girls to Mr. Washington. George Washington. <laughs> yes. Well, Mr. Lincoln, Jackson, and Franklin, and our customers also. Hmm. Well, these presidents ought to get us started. I can go all night. Well, Mr. Washington, I'd like to formally welcome you to my little garden paradise. I'm Rosie. You've met Lily. This is Jasmine, Daisy, and Violet. Such clever names. A regular bouquet. It's a lot more appealing than Margaret or Prudence. Or Helen or Claire. Well, my mother's name was Claire. Would you fuck her? Good point. Here you go. I hope you like it. It's from Rosie's private stock. It's okay. He can afford it. Well, thank you. That's much better. <laughs> so, Mr. President, are you ready for your initiation? Don't you mean inauguration? A president gets inaugurated. Inaugurate. Initiate. Intimidate. I do it all. She'll do. <laughs> Grab that bottle. Oh, look what the cat dragged in. I was wondering when you'd show. All things come to she who waits. It's 2 a.m. Then it's early, no? What are you, a lawyer now? Details. Who's the Rockefeller? I don't recognize the car. Now don't go shaking down my customers, too. <laughs> don't worry, Rosie. We are off duty, and Jack here is already half plastered. <laughs> half? <clears throat> Gonna have to do something about that. <laughs> Hey, Dollface, you got time for a public servant? Hmm. I don't know, Copper. I'm a busy gal. My dance card's pretty full. Oh, that's a shame, because lilies are my favorite flower. <laughs> I have an opening after all. You know, your boy Sam is becoming a regular fixture around here. Is he any different from me when I was young? Oh, you remember. I'm impressed. Thought all that booze rotted your memory. Only the bad memories. Oh, I thought they were all bad. Oh, no. Not the old days. I even remember when you used to call me Dusk Till Dawn. <laughs> yep. Dusk Till Dawn. <laughs> you paid for half this place. Who needs a mortgage when you have a horny Irish boy? Those were the days. Mm. Oh, is he a pretty wench? And on the table a jug of punch.
I sense notes of almond, something fruity. Apples. No, no, pear. Shouldn't we just taste it? The aroma is just as important as the taste, if not more so. It creates an anticipation for what will follow. And so it's an art, just like music. It's what keeps me going. Oh, tempting. Tempting it is. But this is just the beginning. What's the worst that could happen? I end up in a whorehouse? Don't make this about me. This is about you running off with that boy in the middle of the night. Ruby's not some boy, and if you just listened to me once in a while, you'd know that. You don't go running off in the middle of the night without telling me. Don't you walk out on me. We are not finished here. Anna! Coffee? in here right now. Why? So you can give me the whole boys are only after one thing speech? Well, it's true. Willie's not like that. We love each other. He's the one. You just, you just hate all men. I just want what's best for you. Like what? Joining a convent? Is that it? I'm 17. I'm not as innocent as you think. That's what worries me. You have your whole life ahead of you. I don't want to see you make the same mistake I made. You mean me? Just say it again. <laughs> Getting pregnant with me was the biggest mistake of your life. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm nothing like you. Oh, God, honey, that is not what I meant at all. You're my baby. It's just that, well, Willie is a good boy. You're both just so young still. But I love him, Mama. Oh. It's okay. But I'm sorry. Love is a good thing. It's all we really have. Come have some breakfast. Coffee? Yes, please. <laughs> Here, take mine. And one guard's ice delivery truck was blocking the entrance to the fire station again. <laughs> That's the third time I've had the fire chief up my ass. Yeah, well, the fire chief don't bring beer. I mean, if that crowd keeps bringing cold beer with his ice, I don't got a problem with his parking habits, right, fellas? Why, <laughs> Officer Danoff, alcohol is illegal, you know that. Yeah, well, illegal. Tell you what, why don't you do the morning briefing? How about I just tell Weingart to stop blocking the fire station? Too late. <laughs> Monday. We had a report from the Widow McFadden. We had the Canadians in town last night. You finally get your wife that new dress. It wasn't for my wife. To each his own, I don't judge. Leave morality to the fools and martyrs, neither of which am I. And no one could ever accuse you of that, Jack. Malone, keep it down back there. What about Sam? He was talking. But you're the one with the big mouth. Touche. Both of you, in my office, now. Well, should I stop or? No, no. Great work, Danoff. Okay. <clears throat> so, I see it's payday in beautiful Southampton. How are things in the hinterlands, hmm? Are the natives getting restless? Some always squeak, but everybody's paying the freight. The Hayes boys are starting to get hinky, but that's to be expected. Anyway, they paid. And what's going on at that new place? Custer's? Uh, Chesterfield's. That's the one. They got a little sloppy last night and I figured out their game. At least I think so. The front man running the place is some Nancy boy named Victor. But everything I saw points to this band leader, Chester. Everybody kowtows to him. A band leader? And a colored one at that. Shit. What's this world coming to? Hey, Cap, it's 1933. I mean, this is Jersey. We're not in Mississippi. We got whites hanging out with colors all over the place now. Plus, we got Polacks, we got Spicks, we got Chinks, we got Mix. Yeah, got it's a regular melting pot. We get it. Chief, with all the comings and goings, I think this club is a lot bigger than it looks. Chinks, too? In our town? Not exactly Chinks. I just used them as an example. I was being literatible. Chief, hold your horses. Literatible? That's not a word. Yes, it is. It's the plural form of literal. Use it in a sentence. I was just being literatival with the captain. You're an idiot. Jesus, Mary and Joseph.
You the one who found the body? Yep. I was tracking a six-point buck when I came across her. Her body. Where is she? Just up there. Your men are almost at her. Yep, they found her. You sure this wasn't a hunting accident? You can save yourself a lot of grief if you just fess up now. No, I told you. It was some kind of animal. Or you had a little too much moonshine hunting buck, saw something through the trees, took the wrong shot. I'll swear in the Holy Bible. We'll see about that. What the hell was a girl doing in these woods in the first place? There's trails all through these woods. If you ain't got a car, it's the fastest way on foot. Like I said, you sure there isn't something you want to tell me? You go take a look at her. And then call me a liar. last night catting around. Seems like her family's farm is just over that hill. Her brother's just confirmed. Oh, crap. Is it true? Let me see no, her! No, 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 Ned, it's not a good idea. Why don't you be quiet? Oh. Lola? No, Lola! Oh, God, no! <laughs> She with whom the king had committed fornication, and with whom the inhabitants of the earth had been made drunk with the wine of fornication. Ah, what and there was a woman with a golden cup in her hand, filled with the abominations and the filthiness of her sins. And upon her forehead right, preacher, was written, enough. Here lies the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. John, hands in the air. Saying unto me, Keep him up. Come Watch him up. Well, I will show unto you the judgment of the great whore! He did it! He killed her! I'm gonna kill him! Whoa! Calm down! Death to the whore who sleeps with the devil! Get that nutbag the hell out of here! Seek your new Knock it! Violet, I was wondering where you were hiding. Piss off, I'm not hiding. Well, it's wash day, and you know how grumpy Mama gets when she sees you gals lazing around. She made plenty of green off my back last night. She has no reason to be upset. Ah, God damn it! What did you do that for? It's the middle of the afternoon, for Pete's sake. Rise and shine. Ah, you little bitch! No need to be sore, Vi. Man. What's with this place today? Everybody's so tight. Your mom is hounding me, now you and V. Give me your shirt. What? You want me to wash it or you want to go to your new job looking like a hobo? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> but, uh, my hands are dirty, so you may have to help me. Your mind is dirty. No, ma'am, I wasn't there until we're married. Mm-hmm. You play all innocent, but I know what's on a man's mind. I was raised in a cat house, after all. Why well, you gotta act like such a nun? Because I know it drives you crazy. Oh, you little minx. Anna! The wash tub's ready! Hurry up with the rest of the sheets! Oh, 
Dang it. Give me your shirt. Claim your judgment, so shall ye be judged. God they that dang. dwell on the earth shall one You're moment they behold the beast. That's fascinating. Really. Now you can go on all you want about the beast and what an expert you are on the subject of hell. But I got news for you. Hey, stay with me. I know all about it. I spent 18 months there. Now help yourself and talk to me. Because if you don't, the only thing I can guarantee you is a one-way trip to the chair. So, what were you doing in the woods? Praying. Praying for what? Forgiveness? Salvation for the whore, that she might not be cast into perdition. Jack, can't you see he's off his rocker? That whore, Lola Hayes, she was just a party girl. You sick little twitch. She was an agent of the beast, hunted down by wolves. Jesus, what the, hell is he, what, what, what the hell is he talking about, I Jack? Saw, but it was too late, and he knew. He knows! Enough, Luther, enough of your bullshit! Talk! Uh, <laughs> stop! God damn it! Jack, give it a rest. Keep an eye on him. I don't want him killing himself. I got it, Chief. I sent you out as lambs among the wolves. Did he break? Uh, nothing but more hellfire and a lofty sermon on the evil that is Southampton, the prick. <laughs> evil. He's the one with blood on his hands. No, we still don't have any proof. Believe me, Chief. By the time I'm through with him, he'll confess to the Lindbergh kidnapping. The Hayes family's trash. Always has been. And that Lola? But nobody deserves to die like that. Jack, I think you need to calm down a bit. I don't need a dead suspect. That would be bad for everyone. Hey, why don't we just go grab a beer at Rubens? Yeah, I've got a better idea. Why don't you clean up, put on some civvies, and shake down that new joint that you've been casing. Chesterfields? Yeah, that's the one. Shake the money tree. My pleasure. Hey guys, uh, we haven't opened yet. Say, aren't you that, uh, kid that does odd jobs for Rosie? Willie, right? What gives? That's right. A real hard worker, this one. Especially around Rosie's daughter. A regular Romeo. <laughs> Say no more. Young love. It's just such a magical thing, isn't it? What do you want? Why don't we take it inside? Can I help you guys uh, find a seat? No. We're not here to sit. Come on, guys. I just got this job. Don't make me... Make you do what? Good evening, officers. Not every day the cops come calling. Willie, go help Harry out by the stage. It's a good kid. Hard worker. Much like myself when I was younger. But I'm sure you guys didn't come here to talk about Willie. And I'm impressed. Impressed? Yeah, with your shakedown. I mean, most small time cops would come up in the joint with axes, tear it up, ruin the product, shake up my customers. But you fellows use a smooth approach. That's clever. I've got an axe in the car if you want to go that way. That won't be necessary. Follow me. Victor, got a couple buttons here to see you. 
What a pleasant surprise. Do come in. Would you care for a glass? <laughs> no, thank you. How about you? Chester tells me you're a regular, that you've taken a keen interest in our little club coming in every night for the past two weeks, keeping a close eye on everyone and everything. Is that it? Oh, and that you have a penchant for fine wine. Not something I would expect from a ruffian such as yourself. And I wouldn't expect the colored band leader to be ordering the muscle around while you bootlicking Nancy boys huddle in this office. Excuse me? Shut up. So what do you want exactly? For you to lay your cards on the table. I really don't care who runs this little bohemian love fest. Okay, let's be honest. It's 1933. People still get tight when they see a nigga running things. We just figured better for me to keep a low profile. The less black, the more green. Fair enough. You want to pose this clown as the boss when we know you're the one Badge in or no badge, I would advise you to show some respect. I think this pig needs less than some manners. <clears throat> Don't interrupt, boy. Manner speaking. Now look at what you did. You got Sam all upset and that almost never happens. Everything okay in here, boss? I still got the axe in the car. Okay, everybody, everybody cool down. There's more than enough to go around. This is still a business transaction, am I right? That's right. I'm sorry, fellas. We just got off on the wrong foot. Listen, big shot, there's only one rule in Southampton. Everybody pays. How much you pulling in here a night? A couple of Gs? <laughs> I'm sorry, did I say something funny? No, not at all. Don't mind me. Hop, 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 hop. Do you want your money or not? Yeah. But do it slowly. Take it easy, officer. Victor's harmless. You know what? We're just gonna take all this. Back taxes. We square? For now, I'll run it up the flagpole. See what the chief says. Come on, Sam. Welcome to Southampton. How rude. That was too easy. That was too easy. I was thinking the same thing. Hello again. You guys gonna do this right here? Lose my job. We've just got some more questions. What about? Chester? No, he was very helpful. Too helpful. What? They just paid. No guff. I didn't throw a single punch. I only threw one. Isn't that a good thing? Well, you see, when a fellow's willing to show you all the cards in his hand, it usually means he's got a few up his sleeve. What's up your sleeve, Willie? Nothing. Nothing. I'm not important enough. I'm taking out the trash for Pete's sake. Look, we're not stupid. We know there's something going on here that's a lot bigger than just some gin joint selling hooch. And even if you are just a bus boy, you've still got eyes. I bust the tables, I take out the trash. What the hell? You're here every day. Where are they getting the booze? Who have you seen? I don't know. Lots of people. I'm not your spy. Keep me out of it. That's <laughs> all right. Have a seat. Have a seat. All right, get him. Oh. <sighs> ah, hit him again. Stop! All right. Now you're coming to your senses. Are they running hooch or making it? I don't know. I've seen them loading their truck before. But I keep out of it. Hit him again. Stop! I saw it. I saw it once on the road. 
after I brought Anna home. They were coming back from a delivery. From the south, I think. Rosie's is south of town. Is there a shipment tonight? How the hell would I know? Come on, guys. I really like this job. Don't blow it for me. All right, relax. It's okay. It's okay. Look how good you did. Just remember, you keep your eyes open. You keep your mouth shut. Like I said, I keep out of it. Well, partner, if they're headed south, that means that they got to take the mill road in order to get to the highway. I was thinking the same thing, but let's get the fellas in on this. Full setup. You got it, boss. Badges and blues. I only see apples in here. Are we out of biscuits? Not a goddamn picnic. You see, whatever's left. But I'm still hungry. And I have an apple. I don't want an apple. Hey, you're not hungry. Jesus. You know, I don't think these goons are going to show. I mean, are you sure that they're supposed to pass this way? No. No, I'm not sure. They are bootleggers running illegal hooch at night. All right, they're either being really careful, or there's a possibility that maybe oh, they're... Oh, Sam. All right. Listen. Jack's got us covered, but under no circumstances give away his position, okay? You got it? Got it. You got it? You got it, genius? Got it, got it, got it. All right, come on. Try and stay sharp here. All right. What gives, Flatfoot? Could have used you to ask your driver to uh, kill that engine and step out of the truck, please. What the hell is this? We just paid you parasites. I thought we were square. Oh, is that what you thought? You thought that, did you? Yeah. Well, then you should know that bootlegging wasn't part of the deal. Kill the engine and step out of the truck, please. Slowly. Keep your paws where I can see them. That's better. Shit. Now listen, fellas. Class is in session. Have you two ever heard about this thing called the Volstead Act? This is horse shit. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Oh, hey, buddy. How's the jaw? Sorry about that. My knuckles still taste good. <laughs> in the truck! Oh. There's somebody in the back. I saw him. Go check it out. Hey! Good job, fellas. Now stop fucking around and just cuff them. See, Sam, I told you. Saw that little twerp sneaking around back there. Hey, bring him around, all right? Yeah, nice try, buddy. Hey, don't even think about it. Or you'll do what? Don't try me. Hey, how about we throw down and see who's the better man? I'm not going to warn you again. Just calm down. It doesn't need to be this way. I'm done playing games. What the hell? Check the truck. The truck? For more men. We clear? Clear? Clear.
Ah, oh, payday. What is it? it? It's blood. Blood? What are you talking about? Was there somebody in the truck? No, no, it's, it's just bottles. That's ridiculous. It's probably just a rotten batch of moonshine. It's blood, I tell you. Why would they be bootlegging blood? Isn't it obvious? Oh. Take it slow. Savor every note running down your throat. Enjoy every drop from the cup, my dad. Rosie, how did I get here? The Hayes brothers, they found you. Sam, I gotta tell the chief. I know all about it. Oh, chief, I was providing cover from the hill, but my rifle jammed. <laughs> I ran in with my 45. But... Easy, Jack, you've been out a while. How long? I've been at the crime scene all morning. What a goddamn mess. What about the guys? Sam, Adam, and Bill are dead. Killed the same way as Lola Hayes. Her brothers are out for blood. They're convinced it's the same guys who did in Lola. So like I said, it's a goddamn mess. It's Chesterfield's, that new club. We got a tip last night that they were running booze. Sam and I thought it was a good... Oh, God damn it, Sam. Focus, Jack. You said they were from Chesterfield's? Three men. But there was a gunfight. Sam got one of them. I took out the other one. Three? There was enough blood for ten men. Ten? No. Well, they're gone now. Just tire tracks. They must have taken their dead with them. Chesterfields. They must have gone back there. We shook down that kid, that Willie Cranston, out back of the club. He was the one who tipped us off to the shipment. That little shit, he sold us out. That's not true. You're a liar. Anna, now's not the time. You're going to believe him, of all people? Ugh. God damn it. I say we go find that Willie kid, beat the truth out of him. Calm down. We already have a suspect in custody for your sister's murder. Well, it's all connected, I'm telling you. Just stick to run and shine and leave the police work to me. We gotta get to Chesterfield. You're not going anywhere. Don't worry, Jack. We got this. You and your brother want some payback? I wanna be loved by you, yes you, and nobody else but you. I wanna be loved by you, alone. Boop, boop, be doo boo. Will you stop that infernal caterwauling? Oh, come on, Mr. Renfield. You said I could practice after we closed the joint. Yes, but at the moment, your assault on my ears is more than I can bear. Where did you find that crate? Beyond the stage, under some drapes. I thought you wanted me to bring out the booze. It's not booze, it's... It, well, never mind what it is, just put it back where you found it. I'll deal with the blood-sucking thieves myself. Mr. Renfield? Yes, Rita! Can I sing now? No, you cannot sing. And when I say you cannot sing, I don't mean you cannot sing now or later. I mean you cannot sing at all. You tone-deaf little strumpet. Your talents would better serve you lying on your back in a cat house, not prancing about on my stage. Oh. Rita, darling, suck it up. Or I'll find myself another cigarette girl. Little trollop. This is a raid. Rita, get the hell out of here before I tell your mother who you've really been working for. What? Go! Was it really necessary to smash the front door in? Shut up. Fine. Then I demand to see a search warrant. 
I said shut up. You pissed in my sandbox, pinky ring, and now you're gonna pay. Oh. What do we do? Smash it all. They busted up the club. I, I, I thought they were paying off the cops. Jack said that men from your club came by last night and ambushed them. They're blaming you. Me? They think you set them up. Oh, sh shit. Did you? What? No. Uh, were you there? Did you see? Jack and Sam came to the club last night and they squeezed me. So I told them what they wanted. That's it. I didn't tell anyone else. I'd lose my job if I did, I swear. Okay, it's okay. I believe you, but it doesn't matter. They think you were in on it. You gotta get out of here before anyone sees you. Anna, baby, I've been thinking. Run around like a fugitive all day made me think a lot about everything, about us, our future. What are you saying? I want to marry you. Always have. But times have turned and we gotta do it now. I want you to come away with me, away from this town, a new life just for us. I, I can't. My mama. I... It's not forever. We run away now, get married, and come back when things cool down, I promise. But how? How can we live? I got that figured out. The club. Victor keeps a secret stash of money in his office. I spied him hiding it once. But now the club is empty. It's easy peasy. There's got to be a thousand dollars in that box. The police are looking for you. By now, everyone in town knows what happened. How can we even get there without getting caught? We just stay off the roads. Please. We got to go right now. Jesus. Willie, like this, I need my things. Don't worry about that. We'll buy you all new things. Trust me, please. I do. You know, Victor? We smash down your door, bust up all your booze, drag you in here, and you haven't even asked me what this is all about. I can only assume you're not satisfied with our current arrangement. Arrangement? I send three of my men to collect a little luxury tax, and the next thing I know, they're all dead. I wouldn't know the first thing about killing anyone, Mr. Chief of Police Farley. You murdered three cops, you foppy little weasel. I'm going to have a front row seat when they strap you to the chair. <gasps> Oh, I know this game. And then I say, I can assure you, Chief Farley, I murdered no one. I was at the club all night, and there are scores of witnesses who will attest to just that. You really think that matters? You silk-suited smart guys really cracked me up. You got the master plan all figured out, huh? Your men kill three cops and skip the scene. But you left a living witness, genius. A cop. He saw the whole thing. Now start talking! <laughs> Chief Farley, in the breast pocket of my silk vest, you'll find a business card. And on it, you'll be able to read quite clearly the name and number to my attorney. 
Would you be so kind as to phone him for me? You little shit. That's okay. I got everything I need to burn your sorry ass. You just sit in here and think about that. On the gate! Oh, oh, oh thank you so much, Chief Farley. God damn it. What are you complaining about now? I'm out of cigarettes. Give me your keys. I'm gonna go get some more. You're not taking my car anywhere. This is bullshit. What am I supposed to do? Loaf around here for days on end? I should be off at the station with the guys. The guys can't use you in the condition you're in right now. You need to relax. Give me your fucking keys. You need to rest, okay? The chief will call you when he wants your help. I'll take you home. You relax there. When he needs you, he'll come get you, all right? Okay. Okay. I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> you lost that years ago. No, I'm serious. What I saw, who I saw, for, forget it. It's okay. You can talk to me. Last night I saw him, man. I don't know how I missed it before, but I got a good look at him through my scope just before shit hit the fan. What about him? I know him. Knew him from the war. You know I was a sniper, right? Yes, it was a rotten war. You did rotten things. We talked about all this before. Yes, but there was one thing I did that I never told you. Something awful. You see, sometimes they'd negotiate a truce for the purpose of retrieving the casualties. We'd send our medics and stretcher bearers into no man's land to treat the wounded. But I never trusted the Jerrys. I watched their medics like a hawk, making sure the stretchers weren't hiding guns or any other surprises. But there was this one medic. He was alone, just him with the wounded. It didn't make sense. And suddenly, he looked at me through the scope. I mean, right at me. So I shot him straight through the head. I don't know why I did it. It didn't make any sense. He, he was a medic. Then all hell broke loose and everybody started shooting. It was a disaster. A lot of good men died because of me. Thinking back, I can't get my head around it. I don't know what came over me. Last night, this guy in my scope it was that medic. That's impossible. I know. But it certainly looked like him. Reminded me of memories long buried. <laughs> or rather drowned. And this has been my best friend ever since. You know, it's funny. Today is the longest stretch that I've been sober. For a while. Well, it's been a sobering day for all of us, and I've been thinking a bit myself. But I don't want to add to your condition. Um, here, take this. I want you to have it. It's always given me strength. Your rosary. I'm not what you'd call a model Catholic anymore. I can't take it's, this. I'm loaning it to you. Maybe, instead of reaching for the booze, try your faith. We've been together a long time, Jack, and I just... I can't stand to see you like this. Rosie, come on now. Hey, that's not the girl I know. The Rosie I'd know would beat the shit out of four sailors with a frying pan. <laughs> they were Marines. <laughs> Marines, sailors. The frying pan part was right, though, right? Yeah, your brain is in complete mush. Yet. <laughs> After today, I'm not so sure.
Golly. Wait. For what? Something's not right. Of course it's not right. Everything's busted to shit. No, that's not what I meant. Come on, we'll get the money and we'll be out of here lickety split. Okay? Be careful. Keep an eye out. Be right back. Mr. Chester. <sighs> Mr. Chester, shh. Hold your tongue. It may be the only thing that saves you. She's a pure one. Oh, well, that is unexpected. Willie. It's okay. I got this, baby. Nice. Where's Victor? I'm not sure. I. Willie, you know what I value more than anything? Mr. Chester. Loyalty, William. Loyalty. It has been the key to my survival for all these years. I'm loyal, Mr. Chester. I swear. I'm just... I am not going to make the same mistake that my master did. See these scars? My master told me I was special. He trusted me. He confided in me. He made me what I am today. Then one day, at the crack of dawn, I drove a stake through his motherfucking heart. That was 137 years ago. March, to be exact. So if you're thinking about double-crossing me, I will split your wrists and turn your little Anna into my concubine. Loyalty, William. Loyalty. You're gonna do exactly as I say. What's that all about? Are you open for business? Oh, George? <laughs> He's one of the regulars. Three cops just died. I would have thought you could have stopped whoring for one night. Well, I haven't thought about it that way, but I wonder if three whores died if you'd stop being a cop. I'm sorry. It's just been a long day. Oh, you ain't kidding. This is a goddamn disaster. I let all the other girls go home early. Lily's a wreck. Violet's been so out of sorts lately. We all have our ways of coping. How about a drink for you and the fellas on the house? Oh, thanks, but... Too much going on to be getting sauced. Where's Jack? I drove him home. You what? Oh, just calm down. All of you are so hot under the collar, both you and Jack. Jack's got his own demons he's dealing with. He doesn't need you riding him. And what's done is done. The dead are gone. No matter how much you run around, you can't change that. Just focus on the living. Free drinks, huh? It's the least I could do.
Who is it? It's me, Jack. Willie Cranston. What the fuck are you doing here? I need your help. Sure. I'll help you. You set us up. You got Sam killed. Where the fuck do you get the balls come here, huh? Ask for my help? I'm in trouble, Jack. Whoa, easy, Tex. Graduating, huh? Well, you sure don't get any smarter. What can I do for you, Willie? Victor. What about him? I need you to come with me and get him out of the jail. Victor, the murder suspect. <laughs> How do you think that's gonna fly? You're still on our hot list. You're a cop. Just do it. Okay, kid. Just ease your finger off that trigger. It's liable to go off. I don't want to hurt you. Well, you sure got a funny way of showing it. I had nothing to do with that ambush. I'm just a busboy. Well, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Let's just go. What are we waiting for? Let's burn the house down and kill them all. Haven't you learned anything from Chester? Why use a sword when you can use a needle? Beautiful tonight, baby doll. As usual. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Nice. They're a little frisky tonight. What's up with you? Wow. A little tomcat. A situation upstairs. It ain't safe for you here. Safe? Why, do you have uh, holy water and a wooden stake? <laughs> what? God almighty! What did you do? I sure hope you know what you're doing, kid. I'm just doing what I gotta do. It's, it's nothing personal. 
You do know there's a guard in there. I'll take care of it. What are you gonna do? Knock him out? Shoot him? Whatever you got planned, I'm a witness. Did you think of that, dumbass? Shut up. So, Chester gets Victor back and what? He just lets you ride off into the sunset? I said, shut up! You know, kid, payback is a bitch. Hey, Jack. <laughs> Who's the Nancy boy? All right, that's enough. Give me the keys. I can't do that. But I... <sighs> Nancy boy, kiss my ass. <laughs> Jesus, kid, I didn't know you had it in you. You best keep that in mind. I'll get the goddamn key. OK, kid, you're the boss. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I was beginning to think the wheels of justice had ground to a halt. Don't push your luck, asshole. Just you and your boy get the fuck out of here. No need to be rude, officer. Be gracious in defeat and move on. Now get in. Fuck you. We've no time to quibble, William. Just shoot him. Yeah, Willie. Shoot me. I will. Stay put. Don't follow us or you're a dead man. Pretty bold move for a bus boy. You'll make Chester proud. Chester? That son of a bitch has got my girl, and I've got to deliver you to get her back. So that's your angle. And here I was thinking you were going to join our little clan. Clan? Is that what you call it? Chester and that single lady were all over Anna, like, like animals. Vampires, actually. Immortals who rule the night. And Chester is the master. I thought he was just a rum runner from down south. I know, it's such a perfect disguise. Rum runners, bootleggers, scarf laws. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry has a double life of some sort these days. And vampires thrive in this world. The blood business is booming. What? Is that what was in those bottles? And you just turned a blind eye like everyone else. We were operating in plain sight. Look, but don't see. Don't think. Just have another drink and pretend the night will never end. Just get in the car before Chester changes his mind. Yes, sir. What a conundrum, officer. I never did quite get your name. I never told you. Seems the fortunes have changed. And not for the better. At least not for you. You're out of your league. This is the devil at work! Vampires walk among us. I've seen this before. Yes, yes. I knew that about you. You bear a cross. I can see it in your eyes. Forget it. They will stop at nothing. These demons will suck this town dry. Do you know how to kill a vampire? I can stop them. I can! Gun, a knife, a stake, I prepared. You need me! Barbarians. Anna, I got him. Oh, Annabelle, Sir Camelot is here to save you. Where is she? Around. Where is she? I did my part. Now let us go. And you did it so well. Thank you. I will kill you. Willie. You should have probably let me drive the car. You place way too much focus on the road, and I have very nimble fingers. Now look what you did, you stupid, stupid boy. Where's Anna? By now, probably in several places. Ah, ah, ah. The next one will be between the eyes. Now sit there and bleed quietly while I collect my things. Please, don't. 
told me where Anna is. You know, the great thing about working for the devil is you can always hide shit in a Bible. Where's Anna? I want you to know something. The only reason you're alive is because Chester likes you. Mortals can be very valuable to vampires. And it pays very well, trust me, I know. If you keep pressure on that leg, you may actually live. Please, Anna. You don't get it, kid. She belongs to him now. Everything is now his. I have some advice for you. Cut your losses, as they say, and skip town. The feast has begun, and once they get a taste for blood, no one is safe. Not even me. Please, I'm begging you. Sorry, kid. I don't do charity. Forget about them. They're just servants to the master. It's Chesterfield. He's the Alpha. Here. What's that for? We're going to need some heat to take these bastards down. Where's the chief? Those guns won't kill them. We'll see about that. Satan's army is at the door. We must act now before it's too late. If you don't shut the hell up, I'm going to come over there and rip your goddamn tongue out. Amen to that. Where's the chief and crew? They went to go see you, Rosie's. Someone's coming. You got some fucking nerve. What happened to your leg? Victor, son of a bitch, shot me. You stupid shit. What were you thinking? I'm sorry. Anna and I, we, were, we went to the club and we were going to steal. I, I did something stupid. Oh my God, Anna? Where is she? They took her. Magnificent, isn't it? What is this place? This, my dear, is the evolution of our species. Where we rise above the savagery of our ancestors. Oh my god! No! Please don't upset them. Fear and pain have an adverse effect on the quality and value of the livestock. You're insane! It would seem that way. But for our discriminating clientele, it is no longer enough to simply exist. Eternity is a very long time. <laughs> we need to find pleasure where we can. Human blood should be enjoyed like fine wine. Let me out of here. Help! You'll ruin the batch. You have a very bright future here. From your smell, I can tell you're a virgin. And that's the sweetest blood of all. We don't know if Chester's men are on a rampage or still at the club. So just get on that highway and drive, and do not stop until sunrise. Got it. These are all I could find. Just... I'll bring her back. I swear to God, I love her more than anything. I know you do. Jack, shouldn't Owens come with us? It's his job to protect the ladies. For all we know, those vampires are on their way here right now. Besides, I have a plan. Jack, I need to talk to you. What? In private. Now? Yes, now. Jesus Christ. Rosie, I know it's been a rough day, but now is not the time for one of your heart-to-hearts. Anna's your daughter. <laughs> 
What? I was going to tell you one day, her wedding, maybe, but you need to know now. Anna. Your little Anna is our... My daughter? I got pregnant before you went away to the war, and I kept her because... Because she's ours. Why didn't you tell me? Because when you got back from the war, you were different. You were angry, violent, lost. You couldn't handle being a father, and I couldn't risk it. Yeah, well... That's news. I still would have saved her. You know that, right? Yeah. I do know that. One, one other thing, though. What? Willie's my son? They're vampires. Chief and Ramsey fired their guns right at Violet, point blank, right at her, and it did nothing. What are you going to do? Call in reinforcements. All great knights are born from the forge of hell. Salvation will soon be yours. Are you sure this is a good idea? He's batshit crazy. My dear boy, we are the last defense from darkness shadowing the earth. But I told you, there's nobody in there. That's what they want you to believe. This club is just the front to hide their true residence. Maybe they left. Anna could be miles from here. Daylight is coming soon. They wouldn't travel that far without planning in advance. Oh, no, 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 no. I can feel it in my soul. They are here. This is horseshit. They're blood-sucking vampires. They killed my entire squad right now. This crazy fuck is the only one who had it right from the start. Thank you, sir. Shut up. Right now, I'm out of my league, so I need all the help I can get. What about silver bullets? That's werewolves. Werewolves. Uh-huh. I don't want to know. Let's just get Anna and get the fuck out of here. I'm in. This is my everything. How about you, preacher? You in? This is my calling. A sign from God above that I am here to serve in his mighty... I got it. You're in. But if we're going to go up against the supernatural, you would better tell me everything you know about killing these things. It would be my pleasure. Careful, there's broken glass everywhere. Broken glass. I'm a little more worried about vampires. <laughs> what the hell did you do that for? Never mind. Crusaders have forged in the crucible of blood. Luther, shut the fuck up. I am not in the mood. Uh, you've got something on your... Shut up. Okay. Care to open a tab, boys? Nice try, preacher. <laughs> I haven't killed a holy man in a century. As I walk 
through the shadow of death. It's through the valley of the shadow of death. Holy water. Remember to use all the weapons I gave you. What is it, Luther? What? I'm trying to think of a scripture to quote, but I got nothing. Where the hell did that vamp bitch come from? What about that door? This? Goes to the loading dock. Luther said they'd be in the building. They're dead. I know scoff laws. Do you have any idea how many hidden doors and cash boxes I've scored in my time, huh? Okay, Houdini, surprise me. It's prohibition, for Christ's sake. All we need to do is find the secret panel, we find the den. This is horseshit. I'm gonna call someone. Who are you gonna call, genius? I don't know. The mayor, the feds, the army? The army? Really? The fucking army? <laughs> you first, pretty boy. It's not the first time I've dealt with locals. Oh, just give it up, Chesterfield. The word is out. I disagree. We chose this town just because it's small enough that no one will notice or even care. My only problem is you. Bullshit. If I can't stop you, the mayor's just gonna call in the feds. Either way, you're finished. Politicians, it's all about power. Your mayor is on my payroll and a shoe in for re-election. I only needed to purge the police. This town and all the people in it are mine. Where's Anna? You son of a bitch, give her to me! I don't think so. I was hoping you'd be here. Looking for a little payback, are we? Go find Anna. That's right, boy. Go find her. I'm getting thirsty. Willie! Willie! Anna? What did they do to you? All right. Okay, okay, okay. I got you, I got you. All right, all right, all right. Wait, my arm. Okay, okay, it's all right, it's all right. Brace yourself, all right? It was you in the war, in my scope, but you're the same. 
You're the sniper. For years, I thought I was crazy, watching you eating those men. The years have not been kind to you. You ruined my life! You're welcome. Holy water? Yeah, that's a nice trick. It stings a little, but it won't kill me. If I drive a stake through your fucking heart, it will. <laughs> now look what you've done. That's a full week of harvesting. You're gonna pay for that blood in, well, you get the idea. How dare you! Jack's in there. Let's go. Maybe he got out. Chester, run! What am I supposed to do with you two? So much promise. So young. Passionate. I always need new blood. Not to drink. For my organization. Never! Now you did it. You got me angry! Oh, shit! Wait, we'll talk about this! I don't think he wants to talk. Fool, I will try in the dust of your corpses long after your names are forgotten. I am immortal. <laughs> Not all of you is immortal. Thank you.